Our first challenger, whose job has to be spotted, so would you sign in, please, ma'am? Jean. Desmond rides again. Miss. Miss Desmond? That's Where right. Where are you from? Hewlett, Long Island. Hewlett, Long Island. Well, that's right close to home, isn't it? That's right. Well, you better go see some neighbors, because they want to see you. Would you go meet the panel, please? Hi. All right, Miss Desmond, if you'll come over here now, please, and sit down next to me. At this point, the panel, having had a chance to meet you, as I think you probably know, gets a free guess as to what your line may be. We always begin the free guesses with Miss Dorothy Kilgallen. I think she teaches kindergarten. <laughs> Mr. Allen. Judging by the very pretty material of which her hat is made, I think she designs men's neckties. <laughs> Miss Francis. <laughs> I think she's the landscape gardener. Mr. Sir. I think she plays poker and lets the chips hewlett where they may. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm afraid not. Let our viewers have a further look at Miss Jean Desmond. At the same time, we'll tell them what her line is. But the panel's going to have to get. <laughs> and Miss Desmond is one who lives in the immediate vicinity. We can assume you've seen the program before and you know how we score. Every oh, no man. answer, we flip the card, okay? Yeah. All right, Miss Desmond is salaried. With that, let's begin the general questioning with uh, Bennett, sir. <laughs> well, Miss Desmond of Hewlett, uh, is there a product involved in what you do? Yes. Is it a widely used product? Yes. Is it a product that one or more of which might be found in the ordinary pleasant American home? Oh, yes. Might one or more of these products be found in my own home? Yes. Would it be a product that might be uh, useful around mealtime? <laughs> I'd say no. Well, now, Emma, we've got to have a small conference here. I knew there were going to be some conference with Miss Desmond. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Time. <laughs> we don't want to mislead you. Actually, to the degree that the product is useful, we must assume that um, any specific time of the day is not necessarily germane uh, oh. in the application of its use. It could be used around mealtime. Well, we could say if it's used at all, why it would be useful at mealtime, bedtime, morning, you know what I mean, sir. Well, judging by that answer, may I assume that this product is not edible? Uh, you're right. It's not. <laughs> it's not edible? No. Well, might it be found on, on the table? No. Mealtime? Not on the table. One down to nine to go, Under Miss Kilgallen. Well, is it something besides merely useful? Is what it, uh, would you have in mind? Well, amusing or stimulating or decorative or fun. <laughs> I think, Dorothy, you may want to quibble with the answer afterwards, but I don't believe that as you ask the question, it is amusing, you know, et cetera, and so forth. So we'll give you a no answer. Two down and eight to go, Mr. Allen. It's basically useful. It's been established that this is not edible. Is it there by any chance... Uh... Is this something, rather, by any chance, that could have something else put into it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Might what is put into it be cold? <laughs> You'd have to give me a temperature. <laughs> you have to oh, qualify yeah? that a little. <laughs> I've got a whole new approach to this thing here. Uh, is this, by any chance, an article of wearing apparel? The product? Make it easy on yourself, I don't know. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. uh, would it be any more normal to wear it during cold weather than the warm weather? No. No. Three down and seven to go, Miss Francis. Is this worn by women? Yes. Is it ever worn by men? Yes. Does it, uh, may I assume that when you do wear it, it should not show? Yes. Uh, would it be in the lingerie field? I mean, uh, would it be something that you might buy in a lingerie shop? Yes. Uh, does it stretch any in any direction? Yes. <laughs> would it be part of the Girdle family? Yes. <laughs> 
You have something to do with girdles? Yes. That's right. You've identified the product. Now, what exactly does Miss Desmond have to do with girdles? Uh, do you design them? No. Four down and six to go, Mr. Sir. Well, I'd like to state right here and now that I don't think Mr. Miss Desmond has to wear one. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, do you by any chance, uh, sell? No. Five down and five to go, Miss Kilgallen. Do you fit or inspect them? No. Six down and four to go, Mr. Allen. Uh, do you design them? No. Seven down and three to go, Miss Francis. Uh, may I just ask what we've ruled out? She doesn't sell them, she doesn't design them. Pardon me, Miss Desmond, you don't sell them, you don't design them, you don't fit them, and you do not make them. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. That's correct. <laughs> she bottled them. <laughs> <laughs> Was that you modeled them? No. no. <laughs> That's eight down and two to go, Mr. Golly, sir. We're, we're, we're closing on everything. Has, it, <laughs> have, has the work that you do with these got anything to do with the sale of them? No. Not advertising them? With no. Them. No. Make, no, we've said that. You, you do what you do before they're put on sale? Do you put little holes in them for those things? <laughs> <laughs> Ten dollars, no more to go. I must say, this is new to me. Miss Desmond tests them. She wears them to see how good they are before they're sold to the public. Get out of the no, I don't wear the ones that are on the, the put on sale. I wear the samples. I work for the Biselex company. They try their girdles on me. I take them home and wear them and wash them. And I tell them what's wrong before the customers do. Well, the rest of them, you are in. And you get the full price. We get for just stand up the up yeah. Thanks for being our guest in What's My Life. In mystery challenger and sign in, please. All right, panel.